No pauses, no changes. It's just straight into more slashing because we can't really afford to restart and um, save and do the whole plus minus one luck thing. This is a new moon. We have a horse. Somewhere we have a Tengu. Though I don't know where he's got off to. I'd like to find him again before we actually get much further. The horse would be quite good. Oh, actually, the horse dropping iron shoes. So we know they're okay. Let's do some experimentation. We love this stuff. Get rid of high boots. So AC goes to 2. That's where. Aren't these pair of iron shoes? And we're attacked by a Yeti. Yeti claws me for seven. Yeti is killed. I think if we eat this, we can get chill resistance. Meanwhile, the horse hits the newt and kills him. Now, actually, we didn't get any benefit from that, really. Oh, well. So we can drop the iron shoes. Not using, I think. And since they're the same, we can drop the... I'd imagine the iron shoes are heavier than the high boots, but we'll drop the high boots. I would love to know what my Tengu's up to. He's obviously alive, because I'm heap hearing noises in the distance. That's a measure of the speed of my thing, actually. Oh god, dog. Help. Uh, I don't know which is worse. Carnivorous Ape was worse. Carnivorous Ape was much worse. And we were held, and we were dead. Darn. Well, I'm probably going to attach this on to the end of the last one then, because I didn't really get much very far into it. And that was kind of a disappointing end, really. We'd have ignored the Tengu and just moved on. That horse was starting to show signs of being awesome. Ah, well. I will keep trying to play these games, but I'm obviously useless at them. We were partially aligned, we were telepathic, we were held by a carnivorous ape, and that means, almost always, that you are dead. Counter creature vanquished, a ghost. Whoa! Something we can the Kengu killed the ghost of Sushi? A Yeti, a baby grey dragon, a soldier ant, a pony, three dungworms, two shriekers, five gnome lords, two gnomish wizards, and turbold mummy, a straw golem, a floating eye, seven dwarves, a rove, a centipede, a monkey, two acid blobs, two gas spores, a hobbit, two giant rats, a cave spider, a brown mold, a green mold, a red mold, twenty six gnomes, a gnome zombie, tw seven jackals, a kobold, four sewer rats, two rabbits, Two grid bugs, a bat, four lichens, a kobold zombie, and four newts. Conduct. Illiterate. Never genocided. Never polymorphed. Never changed form. No wishes. Celibate. Goodbye, Lord British Neoman. You were one of the better ones. With 3,731 points. And so, with that, we have failed to complete Slasher. As indeed, I failed to complete NetHack. I apologise immensely to everybody who gave me advice, but it was not likely from the start. Ugh. Anyway, I will continue to play NetHack, and I might even continue to play Slasher, actually, even though it is, from what I've seen so far, it is massively more difficult. I've managed to get exactly one character to Sokoban. I managed to get exactly one character past Sokoban, actually, onto the quest level, all that, but um, that was one, and I was fairly fortunate at, a few, at least a few times with him. Anyway, this is Channel Hawk 2012. This was Slash'em. Until next time. Oh. And don't suggest any more of these roguelikes which are impossible. I get them, bleh. Actually, unless you think I could actually do them. Maybe. Oh, certainly easier was to slash them anyway. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll play the original at some stage. Just to complete, complete the humiliation. I'll fail every single 
um, roguelike in existence. <sighs> well, until next time.